is he done getting better? No. I mean, we didn't see him do this. <laughs> no. Is it, is it stand the reason that there's even another level for LeBron James? I, okay, we've had all these conversations about Tom Brady playing well into his 40s, if not his late 40s. You and I both, to, both have agreed that that's definitely possible. Why wouldn't it be possible for this guy? And look, this is part of my rationale when we were discussing LeBron v. Jordan, why I said this debate needs to remain open because we don't know how much more LeBron will accomplish. We don't know if he'll be, I know where you're going with this, but let me just finish no, 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 by ahead, saying ahead, this, ahead, ahead, ahead. is that if LeBron, let's say at 41, he still looks something close to this, right? That, 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 that's a diff, that brings to me a different element to that conversation. We know what Jordan looked like at that age. If this guy is still looking close to what he looks like now, holy goodness on everybody. More MVPs, more rings, more things to collect yeah. to his career accomplishments. I mean, look, I may end up regretting saying that there's nothing LeBron James can do to surpass Michael Jordan as a player in my eyes. I may end up saying, you know what, I was wrong and reversing that. But what I will continue to say, all I want is for people like you and everybody else so if you believe he's as good or better than Jordan now, he doesn't have to do anything else. He doesn't have to continue to get better. His resume is unique in its own right. Like I said, he's not the best I've ever seen, but I've never seen anybody like him. And what he's doing can be celebrated on its own without saying, well, you're not quite as good as Mike. So for me, I mean, look, I don't know, unless he's going to be Brendan Fraser and, and Elliot from Bedazzled, <laughs> you know, and start, <laughs> and he's going to start taking off from, you know, the half court line and dunk it. I mean, look, he's, when you're not losing your explosiveness and you're just gaining more and more intelligence, you got a brain, a supercomputer for a brain, mm -hmm. then yeah, this is why he is where he is. This is why he's, he's Neo in the matrix right now. I mean, because three, one, when you come back from three, one and deliver Cleveland, the championship, all you have left is to chase Michael Jordan. In worst case scenario, you're the second or third greatest player of all time. <laughs> so he's playing with a freedom and a looseness and a confidence when it, that, that's why he's doing stuff like turning his back to Kelly Olenek and then taking him off the dribble. So I, I just don't know how much better he can get and if that's going to change my mind, but I'm not going to underestimate his ability to add things to his repertoire because who knew that he'd be playing the best basketball of his career at 32? Yeah, I, I, look, I think we all knew that he would probably stay in his prime for a, a, a little while. When is his prime goal? It might not even start it for I don't, like, I don't know. Who where, knows? where is who it? We don't know. We don't know the stop point and we don't know the yeah. end point. All I know is that he remains a great player.